Good day and welcome to the news. Good news for Ondo Catholic Church. End of the road for killers as FG exposes killers. Now, the news in full. The Islamic State of West Africa, ISWAP, has been identified as the culprit of Sunday's church killing in Owo, Ondo State. However, suspects in the attack on Owo, Ondo State St. Francis Catholic Church have been apprehended. Meanwhile, the governor of Ondo State, Oluwarotimi Akeredolu, guaranteed that the state government would give land in a good environment for the mass burial of the victims of the terrorist attack on the St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo. The Islamic State of West Africa, Iswab, had been identified as a culprit of the Sunday church killing in Owo on those states, according to Daily Post. It is still early to make any arrest, but Interior Minister Rauf Arabeshola denied any racial or religious overtones in the attacks. Meeting participants included Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo, Boss Mustafa, the Secretary to the Federation, and Professor Ibrahim Gambari, the National Security Advisor, NSA Major General Baba Ghana Mogonu, was also in attendance. General Loki Irabo, the Chief of Defense Staff, was among those in attendance, as is the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Farouk Yaya, the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Awal Gambo, and the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Isiaka Oladayo Amau, who is the head of the Nigeria Air Force. At the same time, the Director General for the National Intelligence Agency, NIA, Ahmed Rufai Abubakar, was in attendance as well as the Inspector General of the Nigerian Police Force, MPF, Al-Kali Baba Usman. Nigerians awoke to the grisly scene of over 25 church members being gunned down by an unknown perpetrator, a development that had been widely condemned. After the meeting, Arabashola told State House correspondent that security channels had identified the ISWAP as a possible suspect. Under State Council, has expressed its deep concern over the violent attack, which it has managed to track down and pin down to ISWAP's attention seeking animals. We have asked security personnel to track down and apprehend them. According to Daily Post, in the attack of Owa on those states St. Francis Catholic Church have been apprehended. Protesters were seen at the palace of Owa's Olawa's Oba Ajibade Ogunoye in a viral video. This individual said they want to take them, meaning the suspect, to Akure. The youth are angry. Last Sunday, government attacked a church in Undo, killed a number of worshippers, many of them women and children. The death toll has risen to 40 and more injured people are currently being treated at the hospital. Quagrigant masquerading as assailants fired AK-47 rifles at the assailants, according to the police. Three unexploded improvised explosive devices were also found at the location, according to the security service. As reported by leadership, the governor of Ondo State, Oluwarotimi Akeredolu, guaranteed that the state government would give land in a good environment for the mass burial of the victims of the terrorist attack on the St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo. During his, host as, during his time as host to a delegation of Southwest Catholic bishops, led by Most Reverend Leke Abegurin, Governor Akeredolu provided the promise. The crew went on a visit to the governor's mansion in Owo, Ijebu Owo, to pay their respect. Even as the Catholic Bishop of Ondo, Most Reverend Jude Arogudade announced that the church would provide a proper burial for the departed. Governor Akeredolu reported that 127 people were involved in the attack and that 61 people have been admitted to various hospitals as a result. 
In addition, it said that 26 people had been treated and released, while 40 had died as a result of the attack. Furthermore, according to the governor, these update data were based on a unified report from all hospitals, including private ones. He asked the public to disregard the earlier numbers. State officials have set up an account for donation after receiving a number of calls and requests from well-intentioned persons who want to aid the families of the victims and survivors. Akere Dolu promised that every donation will be used wisely for the intended purpose. What we, visited, what we witnessed in our war on that Sunday, I have been looking for a word to describe it, but I'm not too sure I can find one because it is indescribable. There's no word to describe it. If you say horrific, dastardly, horrendous, all those are common words and we use them for many things. But I have been looking for a better word to use because we have witnessed barbaric elements, animals in human skin. If you are a human, you would not do what you have, they have done. Maybe there are areas where they will do such a thing and they are not worried. But yeah, we are worried because it is not something we are used to. Human life means a lot to us. This is why one is moved. We will have a memorial park here where those who died in the attack will be buried. My bishop, sir, we will find a good place as a memorial park. It would also be my suggestion that even if there are people who have retrieved their family or members of their family, we still have a symbolic grave there for them and it will be there forever. It is not something we can forget and we should never forget it. After due investigation, we have been made known that the Islamic State of West Africa, Iswab, have been identified as a culprit of the Sunday's church killing of St. Francis Catholic Church in Owa, Ogun State, which took place last week Sunday. And this is huge, a big news, because ever since that happened, a lot of people have been wanting them to bring this, um, the attackers to book. And now that they've actually been apprehended, and they've said that the suspects have been arrested. And we are being made known that the suspects have been taken to Akure. And that was what caused the protest at the um, palace of the um, Olowo of Owo's land. And because they said that they wanted to take the suspects to Akure and the youth are angry. And I can very well understand that, but then... We have to realize that, yes, it's happened in a war, but then this is something that concerns the entire, the entire Undo state. And that is why they've been taken to the um, capital to face justice. And we can commend the governor for wanting to um, open a memorial park where these people can be buried, um, it can be buried and which, um, which would be a significant um, thing because this happened and is like a very grievous act. And he went ahead to say that even those who their families have claimed their bodies and buried them, that they will still have a tombstone in the memorial park as long as they lost their lives and their lives in the attack. So... Um, I would love to hear your comments in the comment section. What do you think about this? Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this news so that you receive an update anytime we post. Thank you.